and welcome here to Talk MCB and welcome back to the channel here for another video. Now, of course, it is the international break, but I have got a video here for you today based on the quotes of a manager. I thought I would bring back a series that I started a few weeks ago. I did two videos on it. It's why La Liga continues to be the most underrated league in the world. And the quotes that I have seen this morning has prompted me into making this video and basically just addressing another glaring issue that watchers from afar of La Liga who don't really watch it every single day, maybe haven't experienced it as a player a manager they're watching on they're talking without experience and it's nonsense it's absolute nonsense what I'm referencing is Jurgen Klopp now Jurgen Klopp is a charismatic manager he's been in the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund he's achieved incredible things there he's gone to the Premier League now with Liverpool last season wasn't tremendously successful for him this season hasn't started that much better either and to be honest I like Klopp I like his personality I like his character I think he's a good guy um, always smiling on the touchline, always got, you know, a lot of feeling about him, emotion. But what he has said here, and you can see the quotes here, is absolute nonsense. He says, the big difference to Spain is that Barcelona can play 50% of their games with Team B, or there are games where Lionel Messi runs 4.3 kilometres but still scores five goals. That's a recovery session. In England, they have no recovery sessions in absolutely any game. Basically saying that in Spain, in La Liga, Barcelona never have to play at their ultimate. And he said the same about Real Madrid. He said they don't have to play at uh, in 50 50% of their games they can play with a B team and he's basically saying oh you know Messi doesn't even run around yet he can skill score five goals doesn't he have to run to achieve that where in England you do and I just think this uh, misconception that La Liga is this league you can just walk through and stroll through and all the teams are easy apart from Barca and Real he's saying here that 50% of the teams you can play with a B team well there was a team last season in La Liga that Liverpool may know very well, and that was Sevilla, that beat them quite comfortably in the Europa League final, destroyed them and dismantled them in the second half of that Europa League final last season and missed, uh, missed Liverpool out now on Champions League football. That Sevilla team did not win away in La Liga throughout the entire of last season, and they wiped the floor with Liverpool. So in terms of the depth of the Spanish league, we know that, of course, the budgets are very different. We know that Barcelona Real, Atletico, don't forget Atletico, they may have a poor start of the season, but never discount that team, do it at your peril. Um, and I think that's the problem, Marie. people like to underestimate this league, they like to underestimate the teams, and somebody on Twitter drew a very, very good comparison with Gary Neville. Gary Neville, before he came to La Liga, often made remarks, he's a very smart, intelligent guy as well, he's a very much a football man, but he did underestimate the, the league when he came to La Liga, he was with Valencia, he had some good players, no doubt the club was in a bit of turmoil. Well, but at the same time, he struggled tremendously with not only Barca, Real, but every team in that league was a struggle for him. He struggled to get wins. He struggled to get points. And exactly the same can be said for David Moyes. Every sort of British manager that comes to La Liga finds themselves talking about it before they go and experience it. And then when they actually do come to La Liga, if you listen to Gary Neville talking about it now, his perception has completely changed. And that's what I mean in terms of Jurgen Klopp has never managed in La Liga. He's never played in La Liga. So I just think that he should possibly go there experience it, understand the league first, and then speak second. Because quite frankly, what he said today about running, about the fact that Lionel Messi doesn't even run yet scores five goals, when is football judged on the amount of the amount you run? Jurgen Klopp likes to, you know, press high. You heard about Gegen pressing, he likes to really get in your face, run a lot, work very hard, and that's fine. Intensity's great. But at the same time, you still need that element of control. And that is what England lack. And that is why possibly you can say the games, the intensity is so fantastic because they're running around, they're chasing their first touch, they're chasing long balls. In Spain, there's more control, there's more, you know, there's more um, tactics about the way the game is played very, very technical. And the fact is that people don't run as much. They simply don't because they got control of the ball. And let me just read out a quote here um, on running in football. And it is absolutely fantastic. Brilliantly timed. Again, on Twitter, I found this. Complimenting players for running the most kilometres is the stupidest thing to do in football. A player is on the pitch to play football, not to run. That came from the master himself, Johan Cruyff. And that is absolutely spot on. Why are we supposed to be judging players here on the amount that they run. This is not athletics. This is not a team that is supposed to be running around a track trying to secure medals. This is football. Control of the ball. Touch. Elegance. Technique. Why are we measuring it on how much we run? And, I, I, you know, 
some things that Klopp say, you know, fair enough. Um, some teams in La Liga, we may well we may well beat, you know, five or six nil. But that's not because we're sort of playing at a half level. That's not because the teams are so bad in quality. Every team in that league can do something special. You look at Las Palmas, who were down the bottom of the league at the start of last season. Now they're very much at the top of La Liga, three games in, uh, two games in, sorry. And I think that that is just something that is overlooked. Teams that sort of make their way through, play a very, very good style of football. They're clever in the transfer market. Just because they don't go and spend millions doesn't mean they haven't made clever investments or, or signed some very, very good young, talented players for cheap fees. And I just think in general, La Liga, and certainly the bottom teams in La Liga, are certainly underrated. And what is to say that if we were in the Premier League, we wouldn't smash Sunderland week in, week out? We wouldn't go to Burnley and lose 2-0 like Liverpool have just done. Maybe Jurgen Klopp would have a few more recovery sessions in games if Liverpool were at our level. They were at Real Madrid's level, were at Atletico's level. The problem is in the Premier League, there's not that much star quality. You look at Man City and Man United this season, for the first time, both of those clubs look in very, very good form. They've they got good players, they've made good acquisitions and what's happened three games played three wins for both three pretty easy wins they're not recovery sessions it's just because they're that much better than the opposition they're playing that's football that happens in every league just because the teams are not spaced out by one point doesn't mean the La Liga are not competitive every single team will arrive on the day and give us a game but of course being Barcelona being the team that we are we can raise our level we've got a deeper squad than most of the teams in this league it's just how it works so for managers especially somebody of Jurgen Klopp's intelligence somebody who's certainly very much a football man, who's achieved a lot in his career, to come out and speak like that about a league which, like I say, he hasn't experienced, a league that certainly is up and coming and has been dominating the European stage for a number of years now. And he himself had experience of two teams last season in the Europa League. Villarreal beat Liverpool away from home. Liverpool managed to overturn that deficit in the home leg. But like I say, the Europa League final against Sevilla, a team that didn't win away in the whole of last season, Sevilla beat Liverpool no problems at all, no questions asked. So I think Klopp is certainly underestimating the league, underestimating the teams. Again, in years to come, if that continues, that'll come back to hurt him. And you just look at what we've done to Premier League teams over the years in the Champions League. And that's the top teams in the Premier League, by the way. Over the years, we've dismantled Arsenal. We really have annihilated them on a number of occasions. Think of the camp now when Lionel Messi destroyed them single-handedly, scoring four goals. You think of Man City when Pep Guardiola was at the camp now as a supporter, when Messi was nutmegging James Milner and Fernandinho, that game literally could have been 7-0 on the night. It ended up 1-0 from that Rakitic goal, but at the same time, we created so many chances. If it wasn't for Joe Hart, that game would have been an annihilation. We've never struggled against English teams of late in the Champions League, and, and simply because we're at a different level entirely. And that's not being arrogant, that's basically staying the truth. English teams in the Champions League at the moment are not at that level. We're a step ahead. So are Real Madrid, so are Atletico Madrid. And it's simply that golf in class which produces those big results. Doesn't necessarily mean the teams in La Liga are not as good or as competitive as they are in the Premier League, they may well be. But we are a step above anything in the English League, and it's that simple reason which provides these results, which may look like recovery sessions, but really it's a team that is so well-drilled, so well-organised, so in control, that maybe we don't have to run as much. Maybe we don't have to run around intensely for 90 minutes to just bust ourselves over the line. We've got that control. We've got the quality we need. We don't need to run. We will do our work with the ball. And I think that's the difference there. You know, you can't judge football on running. That's not the way it's supposed to be played. You look at that Johan Cruyff quote, it tells you everything you need to know. And I just think Klopp needs to be certainly more streetwise when it comes to talking about La Liga because things have advanced. English... Premier League is no longer what it was. It may well be back on the up now. There's a number of fantastic managers in the Premier League. No no doubt that Pep Guardiola will have his influence on that league. No doubt at all about that. But right now, Spain is dominating. Doesn't matter what way you turn. Doesn't matter how you spin it. There's a number of teams in La Liga which are very, very competitive at the moment. Of very, very high quality. And that is going to start running throughout the league as well. Because in the years to come, the TV revenue is going to increase and be shared more thoroughly and more more evenly 
And when Spanish clubs start to invest in, in the market, start to bring on some players of their own, as well as introducing those fantastic young players that they've been breeding because they haven't got a lot of money, when you introduce that money as well that could possibly compete slightly with the Premier League, we may well see a La Liga that is such a vibrant league and such fantastic that we make real strides to be above everyone else. So leave your thoughts down below, guys. Like I said, those club clothes were, were quite surprising to me. I'm, I'm not, I am a quite, a, you know, I'm a fan of his. He's a good guy. But I thought today what he said was absolutely ridiculous. So leave your thoughts specifically on those quotes down below. I'm very, very interested to hear what you think on this. I will see you very, very soon for more videos. Of course, the international break is going on, but we will be looking ahead to our next game against Alaves very, very soon. That's next weekend. I'll see you then. Until next time, Vesca, El Barça. Barça!